respect each other, want to beat each other. Last game, perhaps for Brent Jones. Question about his cap. Garrison Hurst back after a six-week layoff. Brett Favre looking to get back to the Super Bowl. Packers hit early, first play. And they went right at Rod Woodson, playing with a, a tough calf muscle. And they passed almost exclusively early on. 18 yards to Robert Brooks. And then Favre looks for Brooks again. This time draws the flag on Rod Woodson, who was laboring a little bit, Tommy. Then later that drive, third and goal at the one. Gary Plummer kind of bites but gets the paw up and knocks the ball away. So the Niner defense holds at the end, Joe. Gary Plummer's so lucky here. He bites up on the play action fake. As usual, a terrific job of selling it by Dorsey Levin. But wait a second, hold it. Where's William Henderson? I better knock this down before it's in the end zone. Wide open, Henderson doesn't get an opportunity and Brett knows he had one. Inches, just inches. Missed it by that much. It results in a field goal. Niners blitz and after the play, Kevin Green and Favre. Well, first it's Brian Young then. Hey, you know what, you know what? That's a good play. You gotta keep coming. I'll go back at you. Respect, I guess. The guys are hepped up. Second quarter. Steve Young had completed his first 10 passes, but number 11 picked off by Eugene Robinson from Hartford, Connecticut. And look at him go. Could go all the way. But he doesn't, but it's 58 yards, Tom. Yeah, what a great veteran play. If you watch Eugene Robinson make this play, he's going to walk that fine line between interference and great coverage. You see him wrap his arm around Brent Jones to get around and make that play. Of all active players, Robinson has the most interceptions. Far the slant to Antonio Freeman, and he's a free man after making some nifty moves, Joe, for the touchdown. Marquez Popes takes a chance. He wants to go for the interception, tries to knock it away, can't pull out. And what a terrific job of running. Makes Burton Hanks meet. miss. Makes Rod Woodson miss. Miss. Oh, no. He beat the Pope. He beat the Cardinal. He beat the Rabbi on that play, and the Packers are up 10 0. Then Favre to Freeman. Breaks through the middle for 30 yards. Then Favre, and this is where he's so dangerous, scrambling, buying time, and inventing plays. Back across the field to Dorsey Levins, who's being set a medal over you. 11 yard play. After penalty makes it third and 16. Five in field goal range, and this is called grounding. And you think Mike Holmgren likes the call? You think he does? He's a little upset. What do you mean it's grounding? Are you kidding? Well, we only showed you the short version. So, out of field goal range, but back come the Niners on third and 26. Young to Terrell Owens, 48 yards, first and goal. Next play. Young to J.J. Stokes, a tough call ruled out of bounds. Well, it was certainly one that the 49ers wish they would have gotten. It's a judgment call by the official. You're going to see Stokes make the catch. Williams gets the push right there. Stokes doesn't get a chance to drag that back foot. It's not called a touchdown. And they only settle for three. So with the score 10-3, here's the dagger. They worked so hard to get three and five. Goes to Freeman and makes the catch despite the pass interference anyway, Joe. What happens, Marquez Pope gets beat. Very, very poor opportunity. And... It's good. Ryan Longwell said they worked so hard for three, but give up three. And the Packers are back to a 10-point lead at the half, 13-3. to three. Seven touchdowns, seven field goals last uh, two minutes of the half this season. So, third quarter. Niners defense comes out hitting hard, but the ball is ruled down despite the hit by Lee Woodall, Tom. Yeah, it's certainly a close call. If you take another look here, you're going to see the ball pop out. Well, we don't take another look at it. We go to the next play. Meanwhile, Garrison Hurst bench. Bernardo Harris on the blitz. Sacks Young. Far. And wiped down on the sidelines as the rain was much worse than you could see on the television screen. After a Niners punt, third and five, five to Brooks for the first down. Then Dorsey Levins running for a first down. Aaron Taylor says, hey, I'm a lineman. I like this stuff in the mud. <laughs> Leads to another field goal. Jerry Rice can only wonder how much difference he would make. Answer, a lot. Third and 12, Young, Terry Kirby, but Brian Williams stuffs him. Fourth and 11. They got to go for it. They're down by 13 with four minutes to go. And here's a sack by Keith McKenzie, one of the McKenzie brothers. Take off. And the Packers capitalize. Dorsey Levins on the short field. Five-yard touchdown, 23-3. to Levins, first 100-yard rusher against the Niners this season, had a buck 14. On the ensuing kickoff, this is their best chance to return kicks because every drive started deep. Chuck Levy could go all the way. No ride, Brett, on this return. 95 yards, and it's 23-10. Can you believe in all the championship games that they've had? This is the first touchdown return by a kickoff onside kick. But Tommy Thompson 
Punted and kicked more like the Wisconsin governor on this day. Packers recover. End of a great career for Brent Jones, who visits with Jerry Rice. Well, the continuing of a great run by Brett Favre, Frank Winters, and the Green Bay Packers. They go on to beat the 49ers by the count of 23 to 10. Favre, a very economical 222 yards throwing, but again, no turnovers for the Packers. Three games in the playoffs against the 49ers. Turnovers 11-1, 2-0 in favor of the Packers today. And after the game, Mike Holmgren returned to very familiar uh, sightings at Candlestick Park and said, well, pretty good to win here. You know, I have a special affection for this place. And uh, coming in here and, and uh, having to compete twice in the last couple of years here is special for me. Uh, I think you had two great football teams battling it out, and we were fortunate enough to, to get it done today. We ran our offense regardless of, of their familiarity with it, and, and we just made plays. And uh, Robert really set the tempo early. He made some key catches on our first drive, and uh, I just picked up where, you know, we just took turns, and, and we dominated. It was, a, it was a heck of a ride. It was a heck of a ride. We fell a little short. Green Bay, Green Bay Packers are a heck of a football team. My hat is off to them and we wish them the best. Uh, yeah, it's bitter, but uh, I'll be damned if we're not gonna you know, make that trek again. It's, a, um, it's the only reason for playing a game like today, and it's just, it happens very quickly. And uh, it's, it's, at this moment, it's very difficult.